Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2025, and we're here in the booth of ScreenPoint Medical. We're here with uh, Peter Kroos. He is a CEO of the company, and also Albert Guberin Merida. He is CTPO. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you, Ryan. So uh, everybody's talking about AI, and one of the biggest uh, use cases or applications for AI has been screening mammography, with which the idea that you know, radiologists have to look at, you know, thousands and thousands of, of mammograms, you know, can AI help? And uh, ScreenPoint, you've got some solutions with your Transpera product to, to help out, but can you give us a little bit of overview, Peter, of the company and kind of some of the things you offer? Definitely, yes. So we started this company in 2014 really to address the problem of both the increasing volumes, the increasing incidence, uh, but at the same time, there were challenges with the quality of screening programs. So we've uh, developed algorithms to help address those, uh, but also developed a lot of scientific studies to prove the value of those algorithms. Uh, as a result of all of that, we as a company have grown tremendously over the last couple of years because we see the adoption growing on the back of both the, the needs resulting from the increasing imaging and uh, reducing workforce at the same time. Um, and as we do this, we the, there is a the, an another adoption wave happening now that we're raising the standard of care with improved uh, cancer detection. Other entities, other companies that haven't latched onto that yet will jump onto the bandwagon now. Yeah, yeah, very good. Now, Albert, there have been some really significant studies that have been done in the last year, year and a half, uh, many of which have used your Transpera algorithm uh, in breast screening and it was shown that, that AI can reduce the workload of, of uh, radiologists while you know, improving cancer detection. Can you kind of talk about the significance of some of those studies and what they mean for, the for, for radiology? Uh, yeah, definitely. So what this basically means that these studies show the value of the AI and in terms of efficiency gains, what you can get, you can read faster and more efficiency, especially in the MSI trial, it shows, especially with the strategy that is in Europe, you can do up to 44% of efficiency gains, but it also improves on the accuracy, cancer detection rates go up, but also the recall rates uh, get uh, down, so that's also very significant uh, improvements that you can see. Uh, in terms more related to the North America population, we are seeing that, well, we already have some studies focusing on DBT in the US, which is very relevant for the North America population, but also we have on ongoing studies that we present here at the show with uh, U US uh, partners as well. Plus, more importantly, we are starting to repeat this type of randomized control trials very uni uniquely with Transpara in, uh, in the US, uh, which is the PRISM trial, which was announced uh, recently. Because the, the, a lot of the, the big significant trials like Maasai were done in Europe and it was done with, uh, not with DBT and with a double reading paradigm and in the US we tend to use a lot of DBT and we do single reading. Do you, are you confident that a lot of the same benefits of AI for mammography that were found in trials like Maasai will also be found in the US? Absolutely. So we already have some studies in Europe ongoing with Tomo how we see the same, the same effect. So that already gives us confidence. We also see, we have seen time over time that the evidence that we show with our validations, internal validations with partners, it's replicated in the studies. Uh, plus we have some signs, some, again, some of the evidence presented today, uh, these, uh, these days here at RSNA are also showing the same. So we expect also to see similar results. Very good. Peter, uh, what are some of the highlights here at RSNA that you're showing uh, at ScreenPoint? Yeah, so in terms of sessions today, there was a session that showed the uh, performance of our uh, image-based risk solution that is not a commercial solution yet, but how it outperforms MRI products. And on Tuesday, we will also show a study uh, that in, on DBT performance compared to other uh, available solutions in the market where Transpira continues to lead the way. Other than that, this year we have introduced commercially introduced density and uh, temporal comparison, so the taking prior mammograms into account as well. That's what we're talking about here on the booth to our customers. 
All right, very good. Anything else to look forward to from uh, ScreenPoint in 2026? Absolutely. We continue to be very focused on uh, developing Breast AI. Uh, really want to make that commitment true, also in other stages of the pathway. So as I mentioned, we will intend to bring the risk product to market, but also look at um, you know, other solutions that are used in the diagnostic phase uh, or even in the surveillance phase of the uh, patient pathway. All right, very good. Something to look forward to. Well, uh, thanks so much, Peter Kroos and uh, Albert uh, Gubern Morita of uh, ScreenPoint Medical. Thanks for being with us. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Pleasure. Signing off for the Imaging Wire from RSNA 2025, my name is Brian Casey. <laughs>